you're providing a win-win situation for everyone. You are you are providing a win for the tenants who get a nicer place to live, uh, you know, a safer place. Yeah. And then the investors who can come in and be a part of changing people's lives. Oh yeah. They get to change lives while also making money along the way. It's a beautiful thing that you're doing and, and you know, I'm very appreciative for all the neighborhoods that you're changing. A hundred percent. Thank you so much. And that really, you know, our core value and, and our mission is twofold. It's to transform the lives of the folks that live in our communities. And we do that first and foremost by making it a, just an overall holistically better place to live, better quality, better, you know, residents and better quality of life. And then secondly, just like you said, the investors that come in with us and invest with us, you know, they're able to get uh, a, a double digit return. We've had folks been with us 18 years with no loss of capital, uh, even during, you know, two recessions, the Great Recession in 08, and then here the worldwide pandemic. And, you know, so that's critical. And then, you know, like you talked about in the beginning too, it's like, you know, real estate hard assets have historically been the best place uh, to outstrip inflation, you know? And, and when we, you know, I'd look back and studied you know, 1978 to 82, average inflation was right about, you know, 9.8% uh, in, in this country over that length of period of time. And then your average commercial real estate investor was just under 10% uh, return. That's aggregate all commercial real estate and multifamily uh, apartments did even better than that. And so that's across that span of 78 to roughly 83 when we went through such a surge of inflation back there in the 70s. And even now, you know, inflation at 6% last year, you know, everybody's up in the air, you know, maybe it tapers down a little bit this year, but uh, again, we're gonna see that inflation. And, and this is a place where, good Lord, you see uh, rent growth in the markets we're in. Atlanta's up 18%, Tampa's up 20%. And that's a result of both the inflation component and the demand component of all these people and businesses moving to these areas to get to, you know, business friendly tax climates, low tax places, better uh, community orientation to live in, uh, maybe less of this pandemic, you know, kind of oversight craziness that has happened yeah. in many places. Um, and so, you know, for the folks that, you know, sitting on the sideline, it's like, yeah, you need to be able to move into something like this that's going to give you a quality investment return provide security, make an impact that, you know, you're doing good with your investing and you're benefiting you and your family or your legacy financially by continuing to grow your money instead of inflation, eating it away. Yep. You know, there's folks I know, look, and again, you, you know, some of them too, praise the Lord that they, you know, they're waiting for this deal, man. Like, Oh, I want to get this kind of deal, right? I want to get this kind of deal. And it's like, dude, what the hell, man? You've been waiting for two years, right? And in two years, <laughs> right? like, and again, I, 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 God bless them. They're waiting, and the truth of the matter is, they've been losing out both against inflation, but also the opportunity cost, right? Because let's say they could have made twelve percent, they've now made twenty-four percent. Inflation's been six and three. That's now they've lost, you know, good God, thirty-five percent almost of their money. Yeah. And, and well, now they don't look at it that way. They're still waiting there. I got this thing I'm waiting for. It's like, well, praise the Lord. That's probably not the best approach, you know?